And a very good evening, everybody. I'm John Cole. They are happy in Texas tonight. Boy, are they. The Texas Rangers have won their first world championship in their long, long history of waiting. Final six zip. Zach Gallon on the other side for the Diamondbacks threw a no hitter through six. But they got to him in the seventh. Mitch Garver, the former twin, with an RBI to put him up one zip. Jonah Heim had a big two-run double in the ninth. Marcus Simeon with a two-run home run. And Nate, of, Nate Avaldi also threw a shutoff for six innings. So the Texas Rangers win it. Five zip. We congratulate them. Most of the year, they were a tremendous club. Struggled at the end, but got it turned around in the playoffs to win it. We congratulate them. And Bruce Bochy now has four world championships. We said Rangers in seven. They didn't need seven. They won it in five. To college hockey, when the Tetons take the ice against Lake Region on Friday in Devil's Lake, they will do it with a new head coach. He's a former Teton goalie who played for Johnny Bocas, and he's glad to be back heading the program. Uh, you know, I really loved it while I was playing here. It was a great environment. Um, Bocas was a great coach to play for. We did a lot of good things, and I really like to see the program get back to like where it was when he was co coaching. So, And there's nothing like coming back to be the head coach of a place you played at. Yeah, no, absolutely not. This is a great. It's been a great experience so far. Everyone's been super welcoming, all the athletic staff, the players, the rink staff. Everyone's been super supportive and happy to have me, so it's great to be back. Got some kids on this club. I know you haven't seen them actually play yet. That's coming up. Who can put the puck in the net? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we got Barnsey. He can put the puck in the net for sure. We got Eckblad. He's a real good local guy who can do it. Riley Erickson, another real good local guy who can put it in the net. Jackson Dodds, fourth year guy coming back. He's a really big influence on the team, and our goalies, too, are doing really well this year so far. So we're looking really good. So the stable isn't empty, so to speak? No, absolutely not. We might be short on guys, but we definitely have quality over quantity. And as you know, when you were playing here, it's a good league. Always some battles with Botno. It's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to getting back battling with Coach Ribchinski at the Lumber Dome and at the Raymond. Should be pretty fun. So, When you get a full year in to recruit, uh, what type of student athlete would you like to bring in here? Um, I would really like to bring in someone who's a student athlete. Emphasis on the student first. Um, obviously, hockey is very important, but we need to be taking care of everything outside of the rink, like with our personal lives and with school, to make sure that hockey is going well. I'm a big believer that sloppiness in one area of your life leads to sloppiness in other areas of your life. There you go, a good lesson from a young coach, his new club 3-0, their home opener November 18th against, you guessed it, Botno. They'd have to open against Botno, right? The old Mondak Conference volleyball team is out. Circle Montana native Alexis Moline makes the second team after a great freshman season. She had 261 kills, uh, excuse me, 261 digs, 49 kills with 31 blocks. She was one of the reasons why they won seven in a row and ended up in the Region 13 title game where they felt a sign and four. She's going to play hoops for Bill Triplett this winter, and that is certainly very good news. Also making the second team, the former Haver Blue Pony, a sophomore, Alyssa Oliver, had a great year, great leader on the floor, 21 assists, 508 digs, and she was right in the middle of that great run, which landed them in that title game. She, of course, is also a very good softball player, great with the stick, isn't afraid of the big moments, so an outstanding two-sport player. Tomorrow, the Cayo volleyball team hosts Mandan in a play-in match to get to the WDA next week. Action begins at 6 p.m. Coyotes and the Braves split during the regular season. Watford City also involved in a play-in match. They are at St. Mary's. Saints beat them twice during the year, so we need a Wolf-Coyote win tomorrow. Bobby Knight has passed away at the age of 83, won three national titles in Indiana. His kids graduated. His programs were never on probation. Wasn't perfect, but who is? And uh, we send along our condolences to his family. I interviewed him in Sydney back in 88. Let's take a time out.